For most I like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakodash. Double on us all forces and endless agreement with stone and citation to the men and brethren in this work in sincerity and in truth. We skin their lives to do so because he focuses on the planet with the name of the Heavenly Father, Holy World Ignorant, because God is Yahweh, which means He to be or He exists, the existing one. But Hashem is in the name Yahweh Shai, Holy World Ignorant, because Lord and Jesus Christ, right? Which means he deliverer, he savior. Israel is going to need a deliverer and a savior in these last days. Right? So I have this article here entitled, Are We Ready to Be Fully Cashless? Right? There is no escaping our evolution into a cashless society. The notion that all transactions can be ex executed digitally is becoming more realistic day by day. Right? The Crown 19 has accelerated the move away from physical cash with growing concerns over transmittal of viruses and diseases. A cashless society breeds a new era for uh, financial transactions, right? Key benefits should include low crime rates, less money laundering, easier foreign transactions, and the re reduced risk and cost. Right, so these, these are things that we have been prophesying for years, right? that will come to pass which is all written or prophesied in the bible right which we have our faith and our hope in because these words are as the scripture says faithful and true all right so let me get out real quick <clears throat> have a quick chapter two for the stream all right just bear with me a little bit kind of in a cumbersome position have a quick chapter two verse three yeah, because we've been speaking this and been demonized for these things for years. When we could see afar off the words of the Most High being true, right? We were called mad men. We were called delusional. We were called false prophets, right? And this is one question we always ask, you know, if we false, well, you tell me the truth, right? You tell me the truth. You prove to me the truth. Just say, produce your cause. Give me strong reason. You prove to me that this is this is false, you know. Many are jake. Because they are failed in understanding, they what? They write the Bible off, right? They write the Bible off saying what? Hey, hey there's a book a tampered with blah, blah, blah. Now, Jacob have a way they love excuses. The Lord said what? Don't justify yourself before the Lord. Just do his will, right? So even if, even if, um, you know, you know, it, it, for example, you know, it, it, what can come to mind, what exactly come to mind was our video about two years ago, a year ago, of a, a, a traffic stop, a dash cam video, uh, uh, the cop pulling up on Jake and not not complying, and then there was yanking Jake out of the car, and he was, he was screaming out, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh, he's calling out on Yahweh, right? I think he's calling Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Where he learned that yes, he learned the truth, but guess what? The, the spirit says what to agree with thy adversary quickly. So then they come into judgment and they call upon the Lord, or they call upon the Lord as though he's a genie, he's not a genie, right? If you had just listened to his word from the beginning and believe and show faith, because you know, show, show faith and not lip service, you know, you would not have been in the position to get yanked out of the vehicle. Right, and this is this is the whole reason of the most high selling forth his servants, the prophets early, so that you don't get judged when the judgment come upon the whole earth. You see? So this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it shall it will not tarry. So this is it. We've been speaking about it. Are we ready to be fully cashless? Right? Because this is what is happening. The moral fabric, not the moral fabric, sorry. The, uh, the, 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 the way the world is run, or the fashion of this world, which the scripture says, the fashion of this world. Let me see if I get that real quick. I'm going to have to look it up. You know? Who's... First Corinthians 7 and, um, and 31, right? And they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world pass it away. 
right? This is not the only scripture with the um, word fashion, right? But I'm gonna get get into it. Let me see if I can get the word fashion alone. Because the fashion of this world is, is passing. Alright, I think this is the scripture here. First Corinthians 7:31. So let me pull it up in the blue letter real quick. Because this is what's happening. It's moving from a cash society to a cashless one. Right? Right, I have on the um the word form, right? Um let me let me just take off this real quick by the um because you have the word form used here. They that use the word as not abusing it for the fashion of this world pass it away, right? Come back into it. See schema. Well, they had the word schema here for before, but that form in the English side. Strong's G forty nine seventy six schema schema. Right. So it says um, the habitus as comprising everything in a person, which strikes the sense, the figure, the bearing, the discourse, the actions, manner of life. Right. The manner of life. Let me see. Um, they have synonyms. Um, G four nine seven six figure shape fashion as that which is intrinsic and essential from that which is outward and accidental. Right, relate to or complete form of nature of a servant, a and to the external form of the human body right as in philippians which is they give us the example of philippians here the lord being found in fashion as man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even even the death of the cross so that is yahweh shai we are fashioning ourselves in the image of yahweh shai which is being humbled unto death because we die we that are died with yahweh shai we are baptized we are baptized unto his death actually so we die on um we die and we are going to be risen in him we're going to have that renewal of mind heart right but the fashion of this world is the all the lust thereof. Galatians chapter 5. Right? Part of the fashion of this world goes into the image of this world, which is the image of the beast, the rule of the world, which is the prince and the power of the air. Right? Ephesians 2. And I was sat at one. And you had he quickened who were dead in trespass sins. So we were dead in sins when we what we became quickened when we get into this word, right? Sin is a transgression of the law. So we 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 we, we, we work towards offending less, understanding how about Shimi or Shai. This is what we've been preaching, that we have been transgressing our power while we were separated from him, while he turned his back onto us, while we were cast off, right? The scripture in Baruch say what? We're not um I mean, we were not um, sold unto the nations for our destruction, but because we we transgress against our power, right? We transgress against our power. This this is why we were scattered on these four corners of the planet Earth, right? Um, they broke four and um, four and four and I was at four. O Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing unto the Most High are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people. The memorial of Israel. We we represent the memorial of Israel, Yasharala, the princes of truth. Because we're doing the work of the prophets, right? The so-called prophets of this world, they prophesy prosperity, but the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, what he said in, in, in um Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets of all, they prophesy both of um the downfall of kingdoms, um, of wars, rumor, uh, wars, famine, pestilence, right? This is what we prophesy of. So this is the difference between the prophets of this world, Benny Hinn, right? For example, 
he prophesy a prophecy um, pro um prosperity do this and do that and god wants you this way and that way joel joel Osteen, right right td jakes crip creep low dollar they prophesy prosperity but the prophets of yahabah shimmy of shah of old they prophesy of, of wars and he taken our kingdoms the lord said what has there be evil in the city right and and the lord had not done it had he not revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophet. So this is what we've been prophesying about. This cashless society. Where this the new form of, of, of commerce is going to be what? A RFID microchip. Right? It says, Baruch chapter 4, verse 6. We, ye were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because you moved the Most High to wrath. Ye were delivered unto your enemies. For you, for he provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High, right? So we won't, we won't sold for our destruction. But guess what? They destroyed us, right? We went into captivity and we were slaves. You were thrown off our ships, the whole nine yards, right? And they're gonna try to do that a mass genocide here with these vaccines leading into the um, the passing of the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. So it says, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2, wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince and the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So this is how we walk, but now we, we, we are reformed, re, as in back, form, as in form, right? We reform to our power, Yehab Hashem Yahushai, believing in him, putting our trust in him. He's our strength and our power. He's our deliverer, according to what? Psalms, Right? It says, according to the prince and the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Right? So these they, they have Israelite, Israelite leaders telling you what? To take the Maxine. Right? They are, they are disobedient to their power. They're not reformed to Yahab Hashem Yahushai. Right? They call upon his name, but their heart is far from him. Among whom also we all had our conversations in time past in the lust of the flesh fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind and were by nature children of wrath even as others right so in times past this is what we this is what we repenting of right this is what the messages the prophecies are about repent repent the kingdom of heaven is at hand turn back to your power in 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 in, in the most high how about do you put your trust not in man Right? The scripture said that we, by the fruit of our doings, our evil doings, we turn and follow mighty men in the time of what? Eve. Right? As a nation. So, like, you that to the screen. As a nation. Because we were a nation of Adamites. When, when, when the Most High gave Adam Eve, Eve came from his same nation. Right? She was of his rib. Of his nation. Right, not, not not his physical. It's not like he had ten ribs and then the Lord gave him nine. No, it wasn't like that. Right, it wasn't like that. It just meant he was flesh of my flesh, bone of my bone. Right, rib, same same nation. So like yeah, I'll I'll exclude that. I, 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 there's no need to go. There's no need to go into that right now, though. Right, second point. This is um. Let me go back to the article real quick. Um. It says there's no escaping our evolution into a cashless society. See, there's no escaping. No escaping is bound to happen because why? Because the vision was yet for that appointed time where in the end it shall speak, right? The notion that the transaction can be executed digitally is becoming more realistic day by day. And this is what the Lord's saying stand upon your watch, right? Stand upon your watch. This is why the watchmen upon the watch, right? 
Oh, so lucky about the screen flipping, you know, juggling the phone and the Bibles, right? Um, yeah, the, the, the real watchmen of the Lord, they're upon the watch. They guard not down, right? We have other uh, Israelite groups, they guard down, right? And then and they're misinformed because they don't have the spirit, right, to first to begin. So, so, um, so they're misinforming and that's going to, that's going to cause lives. The blood of the nation, the blood of the followers is going to be on their hands, right? It's going to be on their hands. The scripture said, eat the, eat the roll and then go out and teach, right? They don't have the role. They don't have the understanding because of their pride, they're standing up in resistance, right? And, 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 and this, the, 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 um, this, the, 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 how to say, the, um, the, the blaspheming or the murmuring or the whispering against the men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord, the men who have the message, right? It being a, a, a obstacle or hindrance unto them, right? Um, the word just up in my mind right now, right? Well, this is, um, Revelation 22 and verse 6. And he said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord power of the holy prophet sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Right? So the, 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 the words, they, they, they're true. They're true. There's no escaping our evolution into the cashless society. The notion that transactions can be executed digitally is becoming more realistic day by day. COVID-19 has accelerated the move away from physical cash with growing concerns over transmittal of viruses and disease and cashless society and, and, and disease so like a, a cashless society breeds a new era for financial transactions it says it breeds a new era for financial transactions you see so with these words being reported in, in, in the news because there's a business today business today <laughs> You know, you have Israelite groups saying that um, the mark of the beast is what? It's sin. It's an embargo. It's, it's, it's the Vatican and all this arseness. Come on. Come on. You denying the power. So like, yeah, let me just get this real. You just, you denying the power of your Abba Shemiel Shai. Because they're ignorant and your pride. There's Isaiah chapter 29. And boom, 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 nine. Stay yourselves, wonder, cry ye out, and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For Yahweh had poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and had closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, had had he covered. Right? So this is what the Most High do unto these other Israelite camps, unto these churches, and unto these other philosophers. Right? He poured her spirit a deep sleep upon them. Right? And the vision, Isaiah 29 and 11, and the vision of all is become unto you as words of a book that is sealed. Right? The book still sealed unto them. Right? Because they don't have a hundred percent truth, which we boast of in great mills. So through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai. So it's a humble boast. It's not a it's not a it's not a prideful boast. It's that we have the truth. There's no arguing. It's phenomenal. It's factual. Right? Look, they saying it here in the, in the article. It says, and you have to read, and you have to read with understanding. That's one of the things that the prophet, the evangelist, because the scripture talks about different different talents in the one body, but the body having manifold spirits, but all working back to the benefit of the whole body. Right? If the heart don't work, the eyes don't get blood, and the brain don't get blood, and the ears don't get blood, and the skin don't get blood. And it don't remove toxins. You understand? It don't it don't oxygenate. It don't bring life. You understand? So you need the different organs and, and the different um, um veins and articles and ventricles and all these things to carry information and, 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 and whatever back and forth through the body. Right? It says the book is sealed to them which uh, that is sealed which men deliver to one that is learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i cannot for it is sealed and the book is delivered to him that is not learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i am not learned 
Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near unto me, do draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, do they honor me, but they re but have removed their heart, which is a lap far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by precept of men. Right? It says, coming back to the article, a, a cashless society breeds new era for financial transactions. Key benefits should include lower crime rates, less money laundering, easier foreign transactions, and the and reduced risk and cost. The term cashless society itself appears ubiquitous and denotes a concept so perverse, pervasive and entrenched in our society. However, it is far from the reality. Economic in 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 inequality and inclusive inclusive visity includes inclusivity are fundamental issues still present worldwide. So yeah, you're gonna have some hiccups, right? Because the Lord said when you um when, uh, hey nevertheless when you are um, about to fill your belly. They're gonna be in straits because when they're about to chip everybody, right? They might they might get the whole. They have it all written down on paper, right? But to establish it, right? Guess what? You know you're gonna to have to get the poor. They're gonna have the well. Actually, it's gonna appear as as though they're gonna to have to get everybody underneath the umbrella. But at the end of the day, what the scripture says, what you're gonna get, Revelation 13, because that that that's the, that's the um, climax of, of this whole lesson. Revelation 13 and, 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 and 13 and 16 sorry right he calls it all small and great rich and poor right so at the end of the day they don't care about the poor they don't care about the poor they have no rich poor and middle class they don't care about the poor the middle class is going to fall to the poor and the rich are the rich right the rich are the rich and the rich already believe in the system that's why they was out there so called fighting for what uh, 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 for the democracy uh, on Capitol Hill, blah blah blah, because they have some people who who principles in it, Peter Syop, whatever it is, right? It's to get into the minds of the people to make them what operate in a certain type of way. That's is a whole Syop with what with 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 them putting different um people that they, they seem to be leaders to be vaccinated on camera, right? It's a Syop. Work on this is a psychological operation as on the minds of the people get into their minds, right? It's the same thing. This article and all they misinform because at the end of the day, it's all about you, it's all about genocide, it's about killing all the people, right? Especially the Israelites, mainly the Israelites, right? Who are the, who are the, the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, the unbanked. The unbanked and poor could face significant challenges with digital modes of payment. According to the World Bank, there are over 1.7 billion unbanked adults globally. And I, I can stop right there because it will go into different statistics, whatnot. Right? So I want to go and sort of hit these key points in the um in um Revelations chapter 13. Right? This is Revelation chapter 13. And I'm going to start at verse 14. Right? And and deceive it them that dwell on the earth. Right? You know that that's Esau, the devil, and the dragon. By the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Right? And that power that he had to do on the miracles, for example, uh, restoration of, of limbs by what? By, by robotics. Right, we um reversal of par being par paralyzed, right? By what? The insertion of a um a, a new new neural link chip. Right? So so the power that he has is what technology, right? To do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword and did live. So that's the ancient Roman Empire coming back. Right, and that image it goes back to what democracy, right? Homosexuality, les les lesbianism, idolatry, covetousness, murder, and religion. Right, those are the main points of the image of the beast. All right, 
all abominations to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. It says, and you know when you when you when you have when you read with understanding and and, and the Holy Spirit, you can see that the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. You can see that the RFID microchip and technology is the power of the self-proclaimed white man. Who we know to be the enemy of the Lord, who the Lord hates and we should hate also. And we should teach to hate. Verse 15, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that, that, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right? You see? So, the poor, the poor already living how they're living. Many of the poor might not even want that, want that, want that mark. You know? And the real poor is what? The Israelites. The real poor is the Israelites. We don't give a ass about the, the, them Indians and them, um, them Elamites and them Moabites in their, in their natural habitat. But the, the, the spiritually poor that rich is, is, is Israel. Right? And, and hey, it, it many Israelites didn't they know, but they might know the name, but they, they, they identified people outside the realm. Many of them identify that that is the mark of the beast. The RFID microchip that it is going that way. Even so much so that our minister of health said what? A man on the promenade said that we're not going to anti vaxxers One of the things that he heard on the promenade was what? That um that vaccination is gonna to lead to what? The um them putting a um um a microchip in your nanotechnology, something of the sort. And they literally he's then he literally said he's gonna to have to study the anti vaxxers and come back in February with a campaign against anti vax um um how you call it like like thoughts or notions or whatever they're putting out there right it says uh because what the the, the, the vaccinations they're going to lead to a certificate of vaccination where they're saying they're going to have to have two passports uh, a, 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 a normal passport and a, um a passport for of, of, of vaccination and then if if it is that the technology is already here for the um the rfid the microchip for convenience why wouldn't they put it across on um the certificate of vaccination why wouldn't they put it across on the um on the on the chip you know it's a whole forward progressive movement that what they say e that's what we teach e you always use gradualism which is article i will post it in the, in the bio right in the description select here you know gradualism that's that is, that is one of the methods the devil uses it says, verse 15 again, Revelation 13 and 15, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause, and that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused it all, he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor. You see, small and great, rich and poor, free and born to receive a mark. So those who are in jail, they're going to get a mark. Those who are in prison houses, they're going to get a mark. Right? Who's living maximum maximum twenty-five to life and all that kind of stuff? They're still gonna get a mark. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Why in their right hand or in their foreheads? Because if they don't have arms, they're gonna to have to put it in their head. Because there's a next scripture that says you'll get it in your arms, in your arms, in your hands, so like you. Right? So if you don't have limbs, there are people without limbs, but they have heads. So they're gonna put it in their head because you're gonna to need to what? To what? It says and no man might be might buy or sell save if he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so you see there's a purpose of having a mark and any other philosophy does not add up the rfid microchip the convenient microchip is the mark of the beast because convenience is the, is the word of the day Technology is his power. Right? It says, verse um, 17, And no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or, this num or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. You see?
So there is no escaping our evolution into a cashless society. Right? So with that, we give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Kakodash. Double on us all apostles and elders, I give you this one citation to the men of virgin who is working sincerity and in truth. Pray that it was edifying. Shalom.